Hey, just a quick heads up, content here may not appeal to everyone. If you don't resonate with what's shared here today, that's okay. We all have our own journey in life, so please respect our shit and we'll respect yours. Huh. There can be so many layers. It's complicated. It is. But it's exciting. It is. And that's mm -hmm. what I love about the practice that I do is, is helping people remove their blockages, every blockage, in a reverse order because that's how the, the, disease leader, the, the disease leaves the body in the reverse order it was obtained, right? Mm -hmm. So in sequential therapy, we treat from today back. And so we clear all these things along because it's like going to the bathroom without opening that door. I can't get there from here unless I open that door. Mm -hmm. Right? So if I want to clear my whole body, I have to look at all the layers and clear them in the right order. That's mm. what true healing is. That's interesting because that's, for massage, that's what I do with people with physical ailments. Mm -hmm. is we have to, I can treat a bit of the cause, yeah. which could be, let's say, the shoulder is an issue, and now the neck and the head is involved, so we want to obviously treat the shoulder, but it will dissipate from you know the head down yeah, yeah. the last thing that developed exactly yeah. it's a known it's law of the human organism actually oh. yeah it actually there are laws and principles that we as physical human beings here on earth our soul spirit follows those laws because mm -hmm. you're a physical being you gotta slug your way through life yeah. right but there are laws that we have to follow and those laws are that one of them is that disease will leave in the reverse order it was obtained mm -hmm. think about chicken pox Right? Chicken pox comes and goes in a very set pattern. All the childhood illnesses, which are true disease states, doesn't matter whether you live here or in China, when you get chicken pox, it's the, it manifests exactly the same. It is a true known virus, or what we call vasin, which is a life force. It has its own vasin, own being, own sense. Mm -hmm. And when it comes and goes, it comes in a very set pattern, right? Often you see the irritability, you know, and funny enough, parents won't really think about it until after the spots start to come out and the, like the rash develops and the fever develops and all that kind of comes out. That's when they'll kind of go, oh, maybe that's why they haven't been themselves for the last few weeks. They've been eating, they've been irritable. They, most people aren't attentive to this phase. No. But they see this phase because it's in your face. That's true. Right. So the mental emotional state, the physical state, which gets your freaking attention. That's right. And then, but it automatically, it's a self-limiting disease. So it already has its own pattern. So it's going to come, it's going to peak, tension charge, discharge, relaxation, it heals and recovers. And what's interesting is if you truly pay attention to your children, you'll find that they've gone from here to here with a leap. So usually children that have been allowed to go through these childhood illnesses and recover, and yes, of course, you let them rest, you give them proper nutrients, you give them remedies, whatever you need to help them through it to the best of their ability so they don't obviously succumb to something else and get worse. I'm not saying that you just go, here, count the disease and good luck. <laughs> yeah. Sink or swim. Yeah, exactly. I'm not saying that. Of course, I'm all about support in the best possible way. Mm -hmm. But when you allow children to have those childhood illnesses, which... God or the universe created for a reason. It's not just randomly there. It's there for a reason. And Steiner talks about this. He says, it's necessary for our soul spiritual development in life to go through these struggles. So we learn to struggle. We learn to achieve. We learn to overcome by dint of our own effort something. Children will go from struggling and sometimes even at school they may have been struggling and not doing well and kind of floundering around then they get this illness and they struggle and overcome and move on and over here and i've had parents finally admit this when we talk about this and they say yes oh my god then they went on to be even like just stronger mm -hmm. and better and ready to forge forward right wow yeah it's kind of interesting hey that is interesting yeah i love that i'm just kind of like Whoa, keep talking. <laughs> yeah, I got all this weird random shit in my head that just randomly comes out. It's good, and I think everyone else yeah. appreciates that too. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that's, again, just my perspective. In my 35 years of journeying through natural health care and with my clients and my own family, you know, this is certainly what I see. And of course, and I'm an obsessive researcher and reader. And, and so it's not just it happens and I go, and it, these are not just my own epiphanies. <laughs> Yeah, but there's stuff I've read from yeah. you know again, anthroposophical science, and you know there's so many great geniuses back from the 1800s on that have 
created this information and knowledge in their own way, and if you piece it all together when you're interested in it, you know, you kind of come up with these ahas. It's like, yeah. oh, that makes sense. And you know, yeah. what I've learned is truths in life are always truths, like a true virus or a true disease state. Like, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, a truth is a truth. You can't deny it. It's going to always unfold in the same way, right? Hmm. I have no idea why we got so off topic. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to connect with us on your favorite social media sites so you can share your whole healthcare woes, wins, and other shit you'd like to discuss with us.